Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Uh, this will be part two of our new teaching that I'm doing on uh, who is the church or what is the church. Um, and we're going through the book of Matthew right here. Uh, I read in our previous session in the book of Matthew chapter 16, uh, starting at verse 13. And I do want to do a little bit of a review of what I've already shared from our previous teaching. And uh, But in verse 13, it says, When Yahushua came unto the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do, you, do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that you are John the Baptist, some says Elijah, and some Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But he said unto them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Mashiach, the son of the living Elohim. And Yahushua answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto you that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, in our last session, I mentioned that the word, of course, the word church would not have been the word that the Mashiach would have spoken. He spoke Hebrew. And the Hebrew word for actually in, the, in uh, this particular word would have been uh, kahal. Kahal is the Hebrew number uh, 6951. And the meaning of this Hebrew word is assembly or congregation. And... Uh, and the, the, the Greek word, actually, that, that would have been in the, in the Greek text is the Greek number uh, 1577, which reads ekklesia, and it also means gathering or assembly. But the point is that this is what the word means. I know a lot of people have a hard time with the word church. I've seen, I've seen some posting on uh, YouTube and, and uh, on the Internet, uh, people making fun of the word, the, the English word church because of its origination, I think, even from the word circus or something. And so, you know, I understand all that. I understand that, that uh, it was not the word used by the Mashiach, but the, but the meaning of the word in Hebrew would have, would have been and is meaning uh, gathering, the gathering, uh, I mean, the assembly or congregation of believers. It's a, it's a, it's a gathering together of the set-apart ones. But this is the Messiah or the Mashiach said that this is his assembly that he would build and that he would build it upon the revelation of who he was. Because he said that thou art uh, Peter or Kepha and upon this revelation I will build my church or my assembly. I will build my assembly. Now, the reason I'm, I'm going into detail about this is because a lot of people have a hard time understanding other scriptures, um, and they get they get uh, uh, different types of people mixed up with the church. You know, Yahuwah actually deals with basically um, he deals with the the natural seed of Abraham, the Yahudim, the Jews. He deals with them. He's got a covenant through them through the natural seed of Abraham. But there's a spiritual seed of the Yahudim. And the spiritual seeds are part of the assembly here that are born again of the Ruach HaKadosh. Because something that, that will help you to understand is that until the Messiah came and died and paid the price for our redemption, the Ruach HaKadosh was not given uh, in measure to the to, to, to where people were, could actually be born again, could actually be partakers of the divine nature until the price had been paid for our justification. And that not did not happen until the Mashiach died on the tree, went to hell for you and I, paid the penalty and the price for our sins, rose again according to the scriptures on the third day, and we were declared righteous and set apart unto our Father. And then we received those that had believed on the Messiah up until that time if you remember in the book of Acts they Yahushua appeared unto them and breathed on them and said receive ye the Ruach HaKadosh it was given to the disciples the 120 that they are he breathed on them and they received the Ruach HaKadosh 
they received they were born again at that point see while they while the Mashiach was on the earth they were not born again disciples or apostles they they had believed on him according to the scriptures but the manifestation of them becoming um, say a child of Yahuwah or becoming part of this church that the Mashiach is making reference to here did not happen until he breathed on them after his resurrection and said receive ye the Ruach HaKadosh and they they received the gift from the Father it is the gift from the Father to those that believe on the Messiah now we've got a whole lot more to share on you this so I'm going to encourage you to please stay in stay tuned listen to our next uh, uh, teachings that we'll be doing I've got a lot more like I said to add to this I know you may have questions but the more clear that you have of who the church is uh, when the scripture talks about that then you then other scriptures will really make more sense to you that you'll have a greater understanding about the second coming of the Mashiach you also have a, a better understanding of the catching up of the believers when Paul wrote over in first Thessalonians uh, talking about that uh, that uh, that that we would be caught up to meet the Mashiach in the air we're going to talk about that because if you understand who who the church is then you'll understand better about these end time events that are about to take place thank you again for your time please share this with others and uh, just know that Yahuwah loves you I love you and until next time Shalom <laughs>